Hi guys, it's Jen here tonight. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I did get a little bit of a new setup at my house. Um, my boyfriend's sister and brother-in-law had this fish tank stand um, that wasn't really good for their tank. It was wobbling and they have kids and they were worried about it falling over. So they were actually going to toss it out and I was like, you know what, I'll take it. It'll be perfect for my orchids. So... Super exciting. I don't have to use an ironing board anymore. I was using that. Um, it's got some space down here for me to go ahead and put my stuff in. So I got that all set up, which is exciting because it's out of the way then. Because if you saw the rest of this room, you would see that me and my parents have filled it with a bunch of crap, quite frankly. Um, so anyways, I also kind of wanted to touch while I was showing you guys um, my new little setup here. That... I am having a crazy fungus gnat outbreak, as you can see here. Um, and if you had watched my previous video, you could um, hear me talk about how I thought that the moss I was using was causing this. So I think it's definitely confirmed because I did repot this orchid right here, this one this guy, that one, and this. And then I ended up with legitimately, I think I counted like 60 nads um, on this trap and I just put it up last week. So first thing I want to tell you guys, remind you again, this bag of moss right here is terrible. Do not buy it. <laughs> I am like almost 100% sure that that's what's causing my gnat problem. So, I got this stuff from, I think it was the Home Depot. Do not buy it. Um, use something else. <laughs> Why am I keeping it? Because I'm cheap. And I'll probably continue to use it unless I'm seeing, like, some huge health issues with my orchids. Um, so, just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Highly don't recommend. If you guys do have a gnat problem, I do find that these sticky traps actually help a whole lot. Um, so, that's kind of... The one I have right there, I got mine on eBay. I think I got like seven of them for I think like maybe eight bucks, I think. So, highly recommend them. But what I also do too is sometimes like they say that the larvae, like obviously you can't really do much about that right now unless you want to buy like a pesticide because the larvae is going to be like down in here. Um, but you will have like the mother flies like in your leaves and stuff here so I'll just like sometimes tap them and then they'll end up flying around and eventually get like stuck so I'll do that every so often until I get it more under control so yeah that's all I got for you guys so until next time have a good one